workshop here at Mass. We thought we all face in our churches situations of gender-based violence. We know this in our community work, in our organizations, in our schools, uh, issues related to that. We need to also realize as churches and as Christians, sometimes the religious aspect contributes to gender-based violence. The way we interpret certain biblical texts, the way we implement these the, the biblical texts, the way we teach these texts, the way we use the texts sometimes contribute to more gender-based violence, or at least legalize it. I think it's the time to start uh, thinking about what's happening to those people around us in our communities. Those people who are really facing violence in different ways, in different acts. Uh, it's the time for a community of faith to stand up and to stand strongly and really stand with those people who are facing violence. It's really a shame to be quiet about it. It's the time to say, I am an and I will do my best for this to really stop. هذه الدورة العنوانة العنف القائم على النوع الاجتماعي يعني gender based violence GBV نسميها حتى نقدر نحكي عن العنف القائم على النوع الاجتماعي ضروري أول شيء نحكي عن شو هو النوع الاجتماعي شو الفرق بين الجنس والنوع الاجتماعي والحلو انه بهالدورة في مجموعة من الاشخاص يلي هن كل حدا من دولة كل حدا من مجتمع كتير مختلفين عن بعضهم عندهم رؤى مختلفة فكتير مهم انه نحكي عن الكونسبتس او المبادئ الاساسية للفرقات الاجتماعية او النوع الاجتماعي So I really enjoyed this session because we got to share our different understandings of gender from our different upbringings or different places that we've lived and I think it was helpful to give people an opportunity to share that in a small group and then a larger group so that we could talk about things in more detail. So I thought it was a helpful way for us to talk about the issue and realize that there's different perspectives around the subject. <laughs> أنا ما بحب إنه نكون دورة هي محاضرات وهيك دائما دورة فيها تفاعل فيها انتر اكشن وبهالتفاعل نحن بنخلي الناس كمان هن يتحركوا يحسوا الاشياء بجسمهم كمان هن يشاركوا بالنقاش يختلفوا احيانا مع بعضهم فهذا الشيء بيغني الدورة وبيغني المعلومات اللي نحن عم نجرب نعطيها from this training helping the women in the church. My expectations on the workshop are that I get some new perspectives on this topic of gender-based violence. Yes, for me it was very important like to get uh, new impressions like how it is in the Middle East and how can I connect it uh, to the situation in Germany. study on this matter by the Church of Scotland some years ago, they concluded, and it's a very important thing, that God is really, the God of the Bible is a motherly father. Really, in the Bible, and especially the Old Testament, point to him more as a parent rather than just father. God is a loving father, a liberator, a compassionate parent. God is the promoter of life, not the herald of death. And God is inclusive of male and female, shaper of a community and partnership of men and women, a message and a task that is most needed in our Arab and Middle Eastern societies today. In our lives and actions, the deepest reality that should cap capture and move our hearts and minds and impel our actions is that God is truly a motherly God.
someone like Paul ever say these words and turn and call upon women to be silent in the churches or consider it to be shameful for a woman? It is my conviction that early Christianity witnessed a historical movement that began with Jesus who challenged patriarchal structures of his own time when he allowed women disciples to join him and to partner with him in proclaiming the coming There was an influx of refugees from Turkey. If you want to be um, a change, an actor of change, uh, you, uh, you have to take care of yourself first. Globally, 35% of women have experienced physical and or sexual intimate partner violence. Uh, in Lebanon, we don't have this little force, the law for uh, marriage issues. Abad started in June 2011 as a resource center for gender equality. So we do offer direct services to uh, the residents of the country. We do have capacity building services that we offer in Lebanon and uh, MENA region and in some countries of Africa. We do focus on gender, on gender equality, gender equity, on gender-based violence and all services that are related to gender. Regarding today's workshop, uh, we are really happy to have uh, such a diverse group trying to know about such activities and gender-based violence. Uh, it is really good to, uh, to communicate with them and to share experiences and share knowledge between them and with them. Uh, and this is something that will enrich Abad's knowledge of uh, the public and other uh, countries. Uh, I was impressed by the existence of such a center in Lebanon where abused women, children and uh, even uh, husbands can go and seek refuge, uh, whether it's uh, emotional, psychological, social. Actually, I was very inspired to discover that there is such an NGO in Lebanon, that they have so many services, and they are almost all around the country. I was inspired to discover they have a special program for men, and that, and that many men are becoming motivated to come and seek help and receive help. been uh, very very useful for me. I learned that the Lebanese context and Lebanese society and culture is really different from the Western European culture and in my work as a student counselor I shouldn't uh, think much of the Dutch framework. I should forget it a bit and put the Lebanese framework in my head to help the students as good as possible. هذا الوركشوب كثير مهم لانه اذا بنلاحظ من بدء الخليقه لحد اليوم في كثير في عنف كان عنف ضد المراه او ضد الطفل او ضد الرجل اهميه عمل الكنيسه ان هي تتدخل بهذا الموضوع لانه الكنيسه انا بفتكر شغلتها تشجع العداله لانه اذا هي جسم المسيح على الارض معناتها هي لازم تمشي تعاليمه على الارض المسيح كان كثير بعيد عن العنف وكان يدعي للمحبه وللسلام وكان يدعي اهم شيء للعداله One of the most important messages that I learned through this workshop was that violence in families is not innate uh, that was an enlightening thing for me and I think that more women and more men should join into these types of workshops to be enlightened so that we can change the society so my hope uh, for the outcome of this uh, conference is that actually the participants, mostly women, will be empowered by their communities to bring about a change in uh, relation to the gender equality. Always.